Hey guys, it's me, Ruby Phoenix from the Triple Crown, and today we're going to be looking at all of my horses. Yay! All right, I wanted to see if there's something that you guys notice about all of my horses, and it's a little something that I'm going to be discussing in the next video. But this is Angel. I got him when I got Tier 3 uh, VIP. Absolutely love this horse in the brown tack. This is my Aqua Fantasy. Guys, listen, new people, do not buy, do not spend money to get the Aqua Fantasy. You can catch this horse with a little bit of hard work. You can get to level 25, go to level 25 and catch this horse. And I don't know if you noticed, Jamie, my golden, he is level 1000. I think I'll discuss the horse levels and why I have him that high in another video, but look at this horse. He just looks great. I love the black and the white and the purple. There's my fire peg. Absolutely love the oranges and the yellows and the greens. This horse just pops. And I love this look so much that I get in trouble when I RP wild because I just won't take his tack off. And here's da, 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 North. The best horse in the game. I'm still convinced that this is the 100% best horse in the game. If they ever do a game update and they add wings to this horse, I will get it. Absolutely love this horse, but I don't know if you guys have noticed, anybody else who has North, that there does seem to be a glitch with the saddle. Uh, you can ride North bareback, you can ride him with a partial saddle, or you can ride him with full tack. You cannot change North's tack. But you do, and uh, even people who are not VIP have the option of riding this horse bareback, but with this glitch, it always looks like you're sitting just a few inches too high on north, and it's very distracting. <clears throat> and this one, oh my god, I love this Arabian peg. And this, in this tack, full tack, just looks fantastic. This is another horse. Once again, this is level 25. You do not have to buy this horse. You can catch this horse. Uh, it's another pink. It's another one that you can catch. This horse also looks great with no tack, period. In fact, I think most of the horses in this game look a little bit better without tack. Right now, we are we are fully set up, full tack on almost every single horse because I've been running a lot of dressage and doing a lot of flying competitions. Here's the white unicorn, always a great looking horse, a great looking horse, a fan favorite, and just looks great in just about every tack that you put them on. Um, the white and this purple peg right here, you once again, you do not have to buy these horses. You do not have to waste your money on gems. Work hard and go catch these horses. my black beauty peg just looks great classic horse with the full high level tack this is my cosmic frisian looks great in full tack but like i said a lot of these horses don't i think they look best kind of stripped down um, i really think that they look best when they're not wearing any tack at all and you just have a really fancy bridle on them but like i said i've been running a lot of cars. I have not been doing a lot of RPing. I have not been doing a lot, whole lot of any of that. I've been working on uh, getting the club ready and uh, just vacation and everything. And I'm talking through some of these horses just because I'm, I don't. I've had them so many times that I just don't care. <laughs> I mean, I like them. They're fun horses, but you can see their levels down at the bottom. They're mostly just like apple chasers for me. Except this one, I absolutely love this graphite peg. He looks amazing. He looks great in the purple and the pink. But, <laughs> like all of the draft horses in this game, your player does this when they're riding. And it's very distracting. It's such a beautiful horse. All right, this one is uh, one of my favorites. I'm really hoping to get the peg in this horse. Um, I have no plans on stopping the game, <laughs> so hopefully one day I'll be able to get the peg of this horse. Such a great peg. Really all of the club pegs are really quite beautiful, but they're, it's very, very difficult to get if you look at it, even if you're in the top 50, you still only have, and you have a level, th uh, 
<coughs> sorry, tier three chest. And even if you're at like level 50, or at leader or on the leaderboard, if you're rank 50, it's really, really difficult to to get these horses. It's not. It's taken me a really long time to get all these horses. It's another one of my favorites, the eagle. Looks great from the back. You cannot catch this horse. It took me forever to get this horse. It looks great in this turquoise fantasy tag. Love it. I actually have my own outfit for that horse that I like to wear, but. Like I said, recently been working on the club, so. Oh, my favorite, one of my favorites, North Logs be my favorite, the Celestial Peg. Just looks beautiful from all angles. It's fun to just ride, it's fun to fly, and definitely gotta ride this horse with no tack. But in this pink fantasy, Skywalker looks great. And there's Grey Wind, another one of my favorites. I really, really do love the, the draft horses in this game. But riding them is kind of complicated and glitchy. And when you fly, you do this. It's distracting. It's distracting and uh, distracting enough for me to not want to fly this horse as much as I would love to fly this horse if my player didn't do that. And there's my last one, my last club horse. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And that's all of my horses. I'm going to be discussing a little Easter egg that some of you may have noticed in the next video. And if you want to find out more about my club, go down and check the links in the description below.